Hello everyone. I'm hoping to make here the internet's shortest video on how to process waste vegetable oil. Something that you'd get from a fish and chip shop into something that you can put into your tractors or older cars and trucks in order to extend the mileage you get from your diesel and even run just on this. So you're going to need first and foremost a source of free or nearly free uh, vegetable oil that you can get from a fish and chip shop. You will then need a couple of these 205 litre plastic blue containers. You'll need uh, a few 44 gallon drums, steel ones. Uh, you'll need some tap fittings, a bit of hose, a pair of large jeans, some fencing wire and some commercial sock filters. Also to make your life easy you'll want one of these um, plastic 25 litre containers with a tap on it and a bucket a kitchen strainer and a large funnel. So to start making this easy bit first put a 44 gallon drum there that big blue one that's just to give us some height for our um, for our tank there fit all the taps and so forth into the tanks nothing out of the ordinary there uh, cut the tops off these uh, off your 44 gallon drums the top and bottom that will give you a smaller plinth there and then these other ones act as covers which sit on top of these to keep the to keep the weather out when uh, when you want to leave this uh, alone outside so in the lids of these blue plastic containers cut an eight centimeter hole or thereabouts um, using your favorite method and then Put in this one, in the lower tank, put your two commercial sock filters through them with the 25 micron filter within the 1 micron filter. So they're the sizes you're going to need. Do exactly the same thing with your jeans leg. Get a leg of a big pair of jeans. Uh, get your wife or somebody similarly qualified to sew the bottom of the jeans leg up or give it a go yourself. And at the top of the jeans leg, sew a ring of fencing wire in it so it does the same as this so you poke the jeans leg through this is up here on this one on the higher one you'll poke, poke your jeans leg through so it can't fall through the hole and that is basically it you'll get a garden tap fitting to run your hose through here and then find a way as I have with a little bit of tie wire just to hold the uh, hosing plate to start processing oil, your oil take your used vegetable oil strain it through the strainer into this uh, plastic container to get most of the chips and um, bits of food and all that out you'll have to stop and um, bang the strainer out a few times you want to just pre-process the oil as easily as possible then what you want to go do is take that um, plastic container and sit it up on top of your first higher drum once it's up there, you use the tap to regulate the amount of oil that goes up into your gene filter that runs into this tank. Um, so put as much oil in there as you want, up to obviously the size of the tank, probably a good uh, 150 litres or so. Once that oil is in there, let it sit. That tap will remain off. You'll want to let that oil sit for at least a fortnight. A month is better. What happens during this sitting pe process, or sitting period I should say, is all of the water will make its way to the bottom and this is why we've put our tap up a little bit higher and all the crap will settle down below and then once that is done, as I'm doing now, you can turn your tap on, this is say a month later, and then filter it through your other filters into your clean tank and this is what it looks like as it filters away this is just the first time I'm doing this one and that's it uh, let that filter into there uh, and what you get out of that is ready to be put straight into a diesel powered engine uh, if you want to not have any troubles whatsoever and not even think about it mix it 50 50 with diesel that will require no modifications to an older diesel engine. This will not work well in common rail diesels, very modern stuff, but anything 
20 years older 20 years and older should have no problems at all so that's it that's a, a quick setup to get a vegetable oil processed that you can use in your tractors in five minutes thanks for watching p.s this is what it looks like when it's either filtering or just put away caps on top to keep the weather out reasonably neat and tidy thanks again